What is going on? I am back in Salem today. It is Saturday, October 19th, so we are getting real close to Halloween. Um, I'm here at 9 o'clock, 8.59. Nope, 9 o'clock, just changed. I just parked in the MBTA Salem train station garage, uh, and I got on the second floor, so even at 9 o'clock, uh, still plenty, plenty of spaces available. Yeah, let's go walk around Salem on this Saturday morning. This is like the quietest group of people I've ever walked in here. When you come out of the train station, there are a couple coffee shops that you can go to. Uh, just a heads up, both of them already have lines at this point, which makes sense, it's morning. Um, but you may want to stop for your coffee before you come in, if it's mission critical. Got the bewitch statue over here. I see a lot of people. We've got some fun witch hats. wonder if they're real. Look at this, look at how much room there is to walk. I'm also gonna try to get some pictures today that I'll try to throw in the video as well, um, either of some street performers, the buskers, or um, you know, just anything else I see. I haven't actually gone on a little photo walk in a while, so uh, it'll be nice to kind of combine both the vlog and some photography. You have Bora? After that, no more. Yeah, this is actually a really nice time to come visit. I'm surprised that I actually do have some buskers out here. Um, certainly less people than there will be later. Um, so not a bad, not a bad option. Granted, I know the, the number of weekends in October that one can actually do this is limiting. We also have some businesses who set up, uh, you know, little displays right in front of their stores. Good promotion for them, uh, but also a nice little photo op. Again, if you're looking to get breakfast, coffee, or anything, be prepared to wait, because this is the Red Line Cafe, which, appropriately named, has quite a line. I actually never noticed that this is a antique store. So if you're looking for one, we have uh, a Bewitched in Salem. So if you're looking for some antiques, this might be a good one. I guess the downside to uh, coming so early is some of these places aren't going to be open uh, for a little bit. Over here, we got a few people. We got Beetlejuice. We got Jack Sparrow. We got hey, got plenty of people to meet over here. All right, so I just got. Uh, some photos of some of the buskers. So I'm actually I'm gonna try to transfer these to my phone now and send them uh, to them so they can take a peek. We have a, a celebrity nearby, Lucifer. So we got a few good photos. Um, and also, gotta love technology, the fact that I can set up on a curb and just edit photos and uh, send them over to people basically within minutes. Um, pretty cool. Uh, but I'll throw a couple photos in uh, right now. We got Beetlejuice, uh, we got Jack Sparrow, we have Corpse Bride, this is The Crow, <laughs> Michael Myers, I've been saying Jason the whole time. I'm actually pretty surprised, it's now 10 o'clock, we're an hour into our travels here, and um, it's really not, not that busy. Alright, let's keep, let's keep walking here. We'll try to get some more photos of people. We got one of her, but let's get another one. And if I get a photo, thank you. Give me a fine, but you will need to wear the sign, and none of you look so very innocent. I think we're going to head over to the common to see if anyone is set up there. Also, I'm not sure if this camera mount is going to make the footage a little bouncy, so probably not going to stick with it the whole time. So, so you think you can tell Heaven's hell Blue skies from pain 
These cool jackets. This whole like fair, I forget what it's called, but the, you know, having vendors out in the common. I don't know if they've done this before. And now that the Tossfield Fair is over, we've got some carnival rides here as well. We've got two of Colby's favorite rides from the fair. Crazy Bus and Orient Express. I don't remember seeing this boat. Another photo op over here. Big pumpkin. Got some fun decor over here. I like this little propane tank. There are just so many different types of boots here from crafts, art, shirts, just random, random things. Uh, it's very cool though. Definitely come here and spend some money because there's some cool stuff. Got a lot of uh, like fair food options over here. These again are, you know, vendors that likely came over from the Top Sealed Fair. So you're looking at, you know, chicken tenders, uh, I see hot dogs, sausages, fried dough. I don't know if the, uh, there are a couple barbecue places that I saw at the fair, but I don't know if they're here or not, but um, let's, let's take a peek. I don't see barbecue, but it looks like we have a tater tot truck, uh, strawberries, uh, bread bowls. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, see more sausage down there. Over here, we got a lobster roll and clam chowder truck from Gloucester, so you know it's authentic. Across the way, the ever popular Salem Witch Museum. From what I've heard, uh, people will try to get tickets to this like 10 minutes after they release them for the day, and uh, people can't get them. So if you are looking to get them, look into uh, when they actually release them and try to, try to do it the minute they go on sale, because otherwise you are going to be out of luck. Also, this message has been brought to you by ServPro, who parked right in front of my shop. I'm just gonna walk down to the waterfront area just to see what the vibe is down there. Ooh, it is starting to pick up over there. I can see that the traffic in the area is really starting to uh, pick up a little bit as we're approaching, you know, it's 10.30, almost 11 o'clock. Um, definitely starting to get a little busier down here. Again, another coffee shop, another line. So I rarely actually walk down this far because it's a little bit out of the way, but if you are looking to escape maybe some of the uh, typical uh, tourist attractions and, you know, being really jam-packed with a lot of people, um, might be a nice little break to come down here. Behind this ship, there's actually a lighthouse down a little bit. Uh, I don't know how far it is, probably like, I don't know, probably a half mile, maybe a quarter mile each way, um, but just a nice nice walk down there if you're looking for something a little bit different. And then if you walk past this area, um, down, down that street over there, there's a few more attractions. Um, you know, there's a couple restaurants and uh, little shops that you can go to. Again, it's a little bit outside of the, the downtown area, um, but Still pretty cool. And then what you're looking at right now is the custom house. This is always a, a fan favorite to see. The bunghole. Got some shirts too. All right, I'm actually gonna head back to where kind of the, all the busy spots are. See if there's any new buskers or if anyone has any good costumes. Try to get some photos of folks. Passing the New England Pirate Museum. And now we're at uh, Liberty Street, which I'll uh, put a link for a night that Mindy and I spent here, checking out all of the different attractions. You got the Salem Witch Village, you got Salem's, Salem Wax Museum, you got Frankenstein's Haunted Castle. Uh, and you got a few different things to do here. Got a nice little gift shop in there. Actually, it looks like the price went up. I think that was 29 last week or two weeks ago. It went up a little bit. We're on the side of uh, Old Town Hall. Some vendors down here that we can go take a peek at. I'm 
know if you can see him, but we got Jack Skellington over here. He wasn't there earlier. Of course, we got Frankenstein here. This is probably what most people were hoping to see when I first got here, or maybe not hoping to see. The uh, crowds are definitely, definitely busy now. And this is completely different from what it was at, you know, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock this morning. But it actually looks like they closed off this street now. You can see down there, I don't know if you can see way in the distance, they have this street blocked off. All right, I'm going to do one more pass down uh, Essex Street with all the people. Let's see how it is. Tables available at Rockefellers outside. I love this vibe. I would hate it if I was trying to actually accomplish anything, but uh, it's pretty sweet to, to see this many people. If you're in a rush though, this would not be fun. I'm just here to walk along the street, take in the sights, see the crowds. That's about it. No matter where you look, there's a there's someone to take a picture of. If you think you have a hard job, imagine being a postal worker on the street right now. <laughs> oh my god. People live here for We got Pennywise over here. A fan favorite here in Salem. Uh, one of my former co-workers, Chris, uh, was working working over here, so picked up a couple shirts for Colby and Sawyer. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start the trek back to the car now. Luckily, now that the street's closed, you can actually walk and not be shoulder to shoulder with people. One last shot of the real busy area. I've already walked Essex Street more than enough today. All right, that is officially gonna do it from this time in Salem. I just got a picture of a few more folks. I'll share that now. Um, good day. It's fun to see the energy here. It's absolutely hectic. There's so many people, but um, it was a good time. Always fun to walk around. Got a little exercise in. And uh, yeah, let's head back to the car. I see cars on the roof of the garage right now. So it's uh, 1241. I don't know how full the garage is, but uh, those remaining floors look pretty, pretty full.